Hello, today I'm in Lower Manhattan in the Battery Park City and behind me is a new Amsterdam Pavilion. It's designed by the UN Studio from the Netherlands, headed by Ben Barberkel and Caroline Boss. And the project was inaugurated uh, two years ago uh, here in New York in occasion of the 500th anniversary since the discovery of the island by Henry Hudson who was hired by the Dutch uh, East Indies uh, Colonization Company. Um, in that occasion, the uh, Dutch government, the Netherlands, donated this pavilion and also the construction of the park around it. The architects, as you see, designed it with these uh, sinuous curves. They used loft surfaces that uh, essentially uh, covered both the roof and the sides of the pavilion. Uh, what is interesting about this pavilion is that there is the same service that is a roof and also makes for the four walls of the pavilion. So that happens because the roof essentially bends down on this facade and becomes a wall and touches the ground. At the same time, this uh, same surface is also the structure of the building. Uh, this surface uh, touches the floor and then it the wall itself is structural, so it uh, holds a roof right above it. There is additional structure in the interior. The project was unfortunately damaged by the flood, uh, by Hurricane uh, Irene uh, last year in uh, 2012, and it still hasn't been uh, repaired and still hasn't opened. Uh, it's uh, in process of being rehabilitated and uh, reopened uh, probably in the spring of uh, 2014. The work of Carolyn Boss and Ben Van Burko is uh, typical, typically uses this uh, device of the lofted surfaces. You can see uh, this methodology in, uh, for example, in their Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart. You can see it in their uh, various projects in, in currently in uh, China. Uh, you can see it in the train station in Aachen and also in some other buildings which they designed in the Netherlands. Uh, they are uh, some of the pioneers in uh, digital design. Uh, their work uh, ever since uh, the beginning of their practice has been experimenting with complex geometry. The easiest and probably the only way to build complex geometry nowadays is by using advanced digital technology, both for the design and also for the construction of uh, the building. Uh, this digital technology allows uh, the architects to have a complete control during the design process and later during the construction. It allows to have a complete coordination between uh, the different phases of the design, uh, the uh, schematic design, design development and construction details, and also to pass to uh, the construction company drawings which are uh, relatively easy to interpret and to build. The new Amsterdam Pavilion is situated in a very strategic place in Lower Manhattan. It's right next to the Staten Island ferry terminal. So there are thousands of people who pass through here every day coming from Staten Island on going to Staten Island. It's also uh, the point of connection between the scale of the skyscrapers, the office buildings that are right behind me, and then the lower level, which is the Battery Park City, the park with its monument, with the gardens, with uh, the trees around here. Uh, as you can see, it's a step from the plane of the park to the upper scale of uh, the higher buildings. Interestingly, right behind this, it's one of the oldest buildings in uh, Manhattan and, and one of the only preserved uh, old buildings in this part of the city. It's a church, but it's also uh, a house. So, in a way, we have the step between a traditional uh, colonial architecture, skyscrapers, office buildings from the 60s, and then this uh, brand new pavilion from 2012 in Lower Manhattan. The building is an interesting addition to the park, to Battery Park City, because with 
with this lower scale and with these curves, it uh, establishes something new and, and creates this new paradigm within the park. Currently, Battery Park City uh, is uh, building some other pavilions, but this one is the first one of this new project of, uh, with the idea of inhabiting the park, of creating also a place that is open apparently 24 or intended to be open 24 hours a day, which uh, uh, creates more security in the park and also allows passengers who come and go into the city from uh, Staten Island to uh, to uh, uh, enjoy uh, the drinks and food which were supposed to be served in this uh, building. I'm sure that after the reconstruction of this small pavilion it would uh, uh, again bring something, a little joy to this uh, lower part of the city and also uh, a social space and space for interaction between many people who visit this uh, part of town.